God damn, this is a perfect copy of Royal Rumble Photo Genesis. Amazing. Except for some parts uh, that are missing. But, try and say, I got a copy of Royal Rumble for the Genesis. You can see Hulk Hogan, shiny body. But, they said not really worth a much money. No, it's worth like $10. Tragic. But, $10 still a profit. Why? Because the higher the profit, the better it is. But, uh, the other thing I'm trying to say, Usually 16-bit games around that time is worth a ton like Tetris for the Genesis Only reason why that's worth a ton because around that time Nintendo had the, the IP of Tetris Yeah, I ain't kidding about that one But try and say I keep saying try and say but try and say Earthbound for the freaking Super Nintendo is worth that much and it's not even rare. I don't know why it's worth that much. It's not really worth getting it. I just recommend getting uh, a Nintendo uh, system that could play uh, Super Nintendo games. I recommend that. But uh, high prices for video games kind of ruin the ecosystem of video games. You're probably wondering what's the ecosystem of video games. Well, let me show you. You see, the ecosystem of video games always started off with a cheaper game like Dead Island for PS3, that's six bucks. But uh, the thing that rumbles the ecosystem is pretty much expensive games. Usually, Dead Island for PS3 is six bucks, but if you get it sealed, it's ten dollars. You get what I'm saying? But try and say, when it's six dollars, when it's unsealed, it's not bad, but when it's ten dollars, start make the ecosystem rumple a little bit. Like Chester Cheetah, it's a pretty cheap game unless you get a complete box set where that's worth a hundred dollars. That's crazy. But Earthbound is worth a four hundred dollar jet for a cartridge and six hundred dollars, six thousand dollars for the full thing. Crazy. I'm back from Taco Bell. The Crunchwrap Supreme was golden. But I'm also trying to say, after you learned about the ecosystem of video games, now you can finally get in the interesting stuff. I mean the rare stuff. I mean the gold that's under the gold mine. I mean the rarest video game of them all. The rarest type of video games. I'm talking about four of the rarest types that nobody ever seen before. Probably because they're pretty rare. That's one. And also because the factory just pulled them out. Or that they were just in a digital console around the 90s. And that online service shut down a long time ago. Those games are very rare. I'm talking about the Okay, the first rare game we're talking about is a NBA Elite 11. This game was rare because the people that pre-ordered they actually got it shipped by accidental. But uh, they made this game pretty rare. The other copies were kind of destroyed though because this game was a glitchy and buggy mess. Other one is going to be the Sega channel. You see, they had the many exclusive, but the rarest one was Garfield for the Sega channel. This game was a, pretty much a big exclusive. And then we're going with NES. We're starting off with the uh, Nintendo World Champion. The uh, regular card and gold card. These two are worth a ton of money. They gave the regular card to the people that did the tournament. They gave the gold one to the champion of the tournament. That's crazy. And then uh, finally, we got the final two. We got Poop for the PS4. I ain't kidding. Same story as uh, NBA Elite 11. Accidental ship and this game is very rare. But uh, there's something more rare than that. Air World uh, for the Atari 2600. This game was never made, but this game was the rarest one of them. I learned nothing new today. Except for Taco Bell had their pretty good crunch wrap supreme. Oh yeah, I forget. Hopefully you guys have learned something new today. I totally forgot everything I just taught you. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Remember, 
Have a good day. And also, don't trust a goddamn lemon. Bye.